Welcome to uh, Grammar Gaylor. This is Habibullah, uh, an ESL instructor at ELA. Uh, today our topic of discussion is uh, cases or usages of noun. Okay, so uh, what do you mean by cases or usages of noun? Uh, they refer to as placement of noun in a sentence where a noun can be placed or actually used in a sentence. Uh, no cases or usages of noun have a uh, grammatical structure. The chari ki mu noun shir ta stimal aur the noun stimal bara ke khabari ke. The jumle pakka misa ke noun zoom stimal aur shi. So we call them cases or usages of noun. Okay, in English grammar, nouns has the following uh, seven cases or usages. The first one is subjective case. Subjective case is, is also called as Subjective case is also called as nominative case. In this case, noun comes before main verb in a sentence. Now, noun comes before main verb in a sentence uh, to function as a subject of a sentence. For example, Rehan called me last night. Rehan called me last night. So here, what is noun? Rehan is noun. It comes before main verb call in a sentence to function as a subject of a sentence. So that's called as subjective case of noun. Noun chide the main verb namah ke simali ke dekhe iske. Chide the jumle the subject ma shankar hoke. The second case of noun is objective case. Objective case Objective case is also called as accusative case. In this case, noun comes after main verb. After, after main verb in a sentence. Noun comes after main verb in a sentence to function as an object of a sentence. This is also called as accusative case. Like for example, she meant Ahmad yesterday. She met Ahmad yesterday. So what is noun in this example? Ahmad is noun. It comes after main verb in a sentence to function as an object of the sentence. They they case ke noun chile the main verb the rustarati to the noun the the jubile the object pashan kar ke the makul pashan. Here noun functions as an object of the sentence. This is called as Objective case or accusative case. Uh, let's move forward to the third case of noun now. The third case of noun is object of preposition case. In this case, noun comes after preposition in a sentence. After preposition in a sentence to function as object of preposition case. Like how, for example, I go to school i go to school so here school is a noun it comes after there is a preposition so here school functions as object of preposition case now the preposition apastemali che the preposition the object pashankaroki noun comes after preposition to function as object of preposition case okay the next is Complement of preposition case is also called as oblique case. Uh, here, noun comes after indirect object to function as complement of preposition case. Like, uh, uh, like here, uh, noun comes uh, after uh, uh, diatransitive verbs and after preposition to function as complement of preposition case. Like how after diatransitive verbs, suppose I say that uh, I bought a gift for my brother so if we see uh, my brother this is noun it comes after preposition so here noun functions as complement of preposition case why because here we have two objects a direct object and this indirect object and this sentence contains a Dire transitive verb. 
which takes a direct object and an indirect object. So an indirect object also functions as a complement. We say an object can be a complement, but a complement cannot be an object. So here, an indirect object functions as complement of preposition. Yes. This is the fourth use in your case of noun. The fifth use in your case of noun is a possessive case. In this case, noun comes in two ways. Noun can be used in two ways to show possession or ownership. The other case can noun chide for what I do and use kigi chim possession of mulkia to him, a possession of ownership to him. Number first, we use noun, noun plus apostrophe is or is apostrophe to make possessive uh, nouns. This case is also called as genetic case. Okay, like how, for example, I say that. Ali's car. It means the car belongs to Ali. And here this noun is known as possessive noun because it contains a person of his which makes the noun uh, which shows possession or ownership in this in this case. So here because of this first of his this noun functions as a possessive noun and it becomes a possessive noun. It is also called as genitive case. But in this case noun is a apostrophe or a apostrophe to possession Position of ownership of Khaimuta. A first of his own singular noun, Sarasimalo, which is singular position of ownership of Khaimuta. A guess a first of his name of plural noun, Sarasimalo, plural position of ownership of It can be used with plural nouns. Like I say, teacher's room. It means room for, for all the teachers. So here it is used, it, it becomes a possessive noun because it takes a first, it's a first of his. And it shows plural position of ownership. The second way of making a possessive noun is that noun number second, noun, okay. The second case, uh, the second way of uh, making a noun is that noun is followed by a possessive adjective. Possessive adjective plus noun. Possessive adjective plus noun. So this also makes possessive case. Like how possessive adjective plus noun. Suppose I say my car. So my also it's it's a possessive adjective. It also makes this noun as a possessive noun because it also talks about possession or ownership. So possessive case can be made in these two ways: a noun plus a first trophy is or is a first trophy. And a possessive adjective plus noun. Okay. The next case is the next case is vocative case. Vocative case is also called as articulative case or aggressive case, in which a noun is articulated by the speaker. A noun is ordered by the speaker. Cheta che pa noun bandi zat ki gira speaker truna. The speaker palari a speaker pa noun bandi zat kai. So your yeah, order case. So it makes what vocative case of noun, where a noun is articulated or addressed by the speaker in a sentence. Like for example, I say, "Stand up, Ali." So here, noun comes after an articulation, after an order. Stand up. So this is called as vocative case of noun. Here it can come the vocative. Now, vocative noun can come either before an order or articulation or after an order or articulation. Like we can also say like this: Ali, stand up. So here, vocative noun or vocative case of noun, uh, it, it, it acts as a vocative case of noun. Noun acts as a vocative, vocative case because noun comes before an articulation, or it can come after an articulation. So that is called the vocative case of noun. Last case of noun is uh, noun as complement after linking verb case. For example, let us say that you are a student. You are a student. So here, a student is a noun. It comes after linking verb to act as complement of linking verb case. In this case, noun comes after linking verbs. Noun comes after linking verb to act as complement of linking verb case. Noun the linking verb the must the the linking verb the complement uh, This is all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh,
and stay tuned uh, for further videos.